Hey guys, so I was at an ice cream shop yesterday and it reminded me of an idea that some of us had a little while back. Yes, it is finally time to talk about the infamous ice cream idea. Um, I think we mentioned it on this channel before and we talked about it places on the internet and we're like, ah, we'll explain it later. And we never did. So I feel like it's time to bring this back. So the backstory behind this is that it was at LeakyCon, and Carrie, Shannon, Becca, and I, I believe Laura was not there, went to Red Robin for dinner, and we were just sitting there and we were talking, I said, what if we got like a scoop of ice cream and put in two like waffle cone triangle things as wings and called it a golden snitch sundae? And for some reason we're like, wow, that's the best idea ever. And then we started thinking of other sundaes and ice creams and blah blah blah, and it snowballed into a Harry Potter ice cream shop. And we were coming up with flavors and sundaes and sizing options and things for our fictional ice cream shop for hours upon days. Um, and I thought I'd share some of them with you. Um, also, finally we're like, we need to do something with these things. And so we set up a blog called fortescuesicecream.tumblr.com, link in the description. There's nothing there though, because we could never figure out how we wanted to do this. We didn't want to just like make a text post, and I don't think any of us were confident enough in Photoshop abilities to make these Sundays. So if any of you guys have an idea of how we can get this done, let us know, because we were really excited about this months ago, and then nothing happened. So we wrote down some of the ideas, and I have some of them here, and some of them we didn't, because we came up with them when we weren't sitting at the restaurant anymore. So I'm going to try and remember those, and see if I remember them accurately. Um, originally we were just coming up with flavors and we are like, mint can be Slytherin and Hufflepuff can be banana and everything was like a weird whatever until someone came up with the idea of the secret shipping menu which was you could order a ship and then you get each flavor that represented a character and it would be that ship and they're like, well then all of the flavors have to be named after characters so that's what our standard is and then the Sundays are different things and then there's a bunch of other little Harry Potter nuggets in there. So what we have, I think strawberry was Ron, and chocolate, Hermione was chocolate, and Harry is vanilla, and then the golden trio would be a sundae with all three of those things. We had the, like, orange sherbet was like the Weasleys, so any ship with the Weasley where you would get a scoop of orange in there. We had like Seamus Finnegan, you put sparklers in it, just pudding down for Luna, like just a pudding cup, I guess. For a Marietta Edgecombe, Sunday, you would spell sneak and M&Ms across the ice cream. Voldemort was sugar free. A rainbow sherbet was Dumbledore. Lavender and strawberry flavored would be a Wan Wan. So yeah, basically we had a bunch of disputes about like character colors and whatever, but the fun thing was coming up with the other sorts of things. For example, we had challenges. Like, you know, when you go to like some restaurants and they have eat this much and you'll get your face on the wall. So we had the Hagrid challenge, which was eight scoops of ice cream. And the Grop challenge, which was 16, because Grop is 16 foot tall and then Hagrid's only half a giant. And then, of course, there was our sizing options, which a double scoop is a Fred and George, but a single scoop is a Just George. We went there. If you make a Star Kid reference, you get the secret red vine flavored ice cream. There was the Umbridge Sunday, which is like some sort of pink ice cream with like strawberries and strawberry syrup and whipped cream and pink sprinkles and just a ridiculous amount of sweet things. Um, there was our Lockhart sundae, which was like little to no ice cream covered in a ton of toppings, so you thought there was a big scoop of ice cream, but really there's nothing of substance inside. There's the Mad-Eye Moody ice cream, which is a scoop of ice cream with just like a big jawbreaker right in the middle. And then there's the movie sundae, which I guess you could order or you get by making a reference to the movie, I believe and it's a cup with ice cream in it and then like a cone stuck in it but point down and then you squirt chocolate syrup all over it and the idea of squirting chocolate syrup in their face also came up and then you start to hand it to them and they go oh wait a second and you take a big chunk of the ice cream take it out and say sorry deleted scene and then you hand it to them so then we were talking about the Weasley Sunday, and this was when I was coming up with the whole challenge idea with Grop and Hagrid and what I was thinking was like the Weasley Sunday, there's a ton of them you get a ton of them you know, a ton of ice creams and it's like a challenge. But I think someone else said, and I was like, what about a Weasley Sunday? And someone goes, you don't, you get one scoop of ice cream and someone goes, why? And you go, because they're poor. 
So the Weasley Sunday is like half a scoop of ice cream. <laughs> it's horrible. I know we had like a Hallows um, Sunday, and it had like a ring pop to represent the ring, and um, something to represent the wand. I don't know what it was. And like invisibility cloak was clearly invisible. <laughs> Um, and then we had our Horcrux Sunday, which was just a mm, hodgepodge of things because there's, you know, eight Horcruxes. It would start with a scoop of vanilla to represent Harry. Um, the cup it was in would represent Hufflepuff's cup. Um, you'd have like a candy tiara to represent the diadem. You'd have a blow pop to represent the ring. Um, I think we said an ice cream sandwich represented a book, I think, like the diary. A gummy worm to represent a snake. And a candy necklace to represent the uh, locket. So yeah, it would be a disgusting Sunday, but I mean, Horcrux aren't supposed to be delicious, okay? So, yeah, we'd probably go out of business real fast. My question for whoever is next is, how do you think we should proceed forward with this idea? And that also applies to everyone else who wants to leave a comment. And is there any other ice cream type ideas for this that you have, and if this is Carrie making a video next, um, is there any I forgot? And um, anyone leave a comment if you have an idea or something I forgot or whatever, because I want to remember. <laughs> so that's all I have to say on this topic for now, although I'm probably forgetting a ton. So I will see you next week. Bye! I don't know what this says, it just says all the dark. Black could be anywhere. I don't know what that means.